I have a fold-away hinge for the tongue of a trailer. Primarily people use these in situations where their trailer is way too long for the garage, uh, but they can fold the tongue away and manage to make it fit. Now in the past, I've been taking my tongue off of the trailer, which is kind of a pain, but it's not really too bad because my tongue removes of about three bolts. Actually, it's two bolts and a pen. But I found this device online. I thought it was pretty cool. thought I'd do a review on it. And uh, it came in the mail the other day. Basically, you have a really hefty duty hinge and they give you a quick release pin and then there's a, a long bolt in the bag so you can bolt one side of the hinge i assume it's going to be either or whatever way you want to make your tongue swing and then you have this particular hinge that just has a keeper style pin for the bottom so basically you can just hinge your entire tongue away and maybe close your garage door Luckily for me, my trailer is a tilt trailer, so it basically pivots on a on a hinge, which is just two bolts, and then there's a pin that sits right here. And so I can just pull the pin and remove the bolts, drop the tongue, tuck it under the boat, put a jack stand under it, and I'm good to go for the winter. Uh, I do have to remove my wiring because I do risk breaking any wiring when I'm doing this. So it is a big pain in the rear end, but I can make it happen. However, with a hinge, I should just be able to pull the pin on the hinge, fold the tongue away, and be done. So we're going to install that today and see how well it works. The installation seems pretty straightforward. I relocated the jack temporarily to there and I might just leave it there. It's out of the way. I don't foresee it being a problem. So maybe I'll leave it there. Maybe I won't. But originally I thought about relocating it to here and I might do that, but it seems okay there. And as far as installing it, you literally just cut the tongue, do a nice straight line on it. I used a cutoff wheel, took about two minutes and then you slip the piece over the tube, put your bolts in. There's eight of them, four on top, four on the bottom. And uh, that's all there is to it. So I've lost some daylight here, but I'm going to get kind of up close and show you how this works. So there's a, a handle here, there's a keeper on here, and then a, a regular pin so you can lock this pin in. And you pull this up, it's pretty tight. Then you just take the entire tongue and fold it away, which is pretty cool. Now you can close the garage door. Pretty neat device. Uh, I'll put a link in the description on where I bought it. If you like these types of do-it-yourself stuff, please like and subscribe to this channel.